Movement Mortgage. You're going to be seven hours in underwriting, six days in processing, and then one day to get the deal fund. If I'm doing my bath right, that's faster than most everybody, and they want to hire. All you have to do is click this panel right over there, or on Facebook right up above to learn more. And Carl White is still doing an ongoing webinar series on how to convert Facebook ads. If you're running Facebook ads, he's got the secret sauce on how to make those things convert this banner over on your right. Might have to scroll down a little bit. Or on Facebook, there's a link up above. Now you re may remember the Equifax hack. Remember the Equifax hacks? And no, it's not the latest dance craze. <laughs> the Equifax hack is where a credit bureau was hacked and led to 143 million folks having their personal data compromised. Congratulations, everybody. You're all on the dark web right now. And your social security bank accounts and card numbers are being traded like pork bellies on Wall Street. To say this is bad is an understatement. When referring to the Equifax hack, it should be said something like bad to really convey what you're saying. Now, the CFPB under Mick Mulvaney isn't going to do a damn thing about it. In fact, three sources told Reuters that Mulvaney is yet to take any steps to investigate the hack. Frank, who cares? Who cares? Did you know this? Did you know that Realtor.com says it is now the best time to sell your house in over a decade? I think lenders, that's right, lenders need to get off their butts and go to work with their agents to get more listings, more buyers, and more sellers. We know there's homes to sell out there, and that makes it, in part, the best time to sell your home. I mean, the sellers, they'll make more money, the houses are gonna sell fast. Remember, buy when others sell and sell when others buy. Take this info to your agents and have them, I mean, help them farm for listings, Former, man. former CFPB Director Richard Cordray had supported the idea of on-the-ground testing, which Mulvaney also has yet to do. And Cordroy also authorized the investigation, which Mulvaney is not doing. You know, home seller profits surged to a 10-year high in the fourth quarter of 2017. Sellers saw an average home price gain since purchase of $54,000. That $54,000 average seller profit represents an average of 29.7% return on investment compared to the original purchase price. This is the highest average home seller return on investment since the third quarter of 2007. This is what you need to be doing. Bring value. Tell your agents. Heck, tell your past client database, guys. Tell your homeowners out there. Ask your agents how you can be of service to get some of these homes onto the market. By man. not taking any action against Equifax, Mulvaney is sending a clear message to the mortgage industry that he is, in fact, pulling back on the number of lawsuits that he's going to prosecute over at the Bureau. Yeah, okay, listen. Darren Bloomquist, Senior Vice President at Atom Data Solutions, says while home sellers on the West Coast are realizing the biggest profits, rapid home price appreciation in red state markets is rivaling that of the high-flying coastal markets and producing sizable profits for home sellers in those middle American markets as well. Guys, it doesn't matter where you live. You need to take action, and every day you sit on this is a day of lost, I mean, totally lost opportunity. My goodness, won't you just go out there? If, if you think about this, what would the CFPB have to gain by suing Equifax anyways? Think about this, a lawsuit would only stand to take away precious money and resources that Equifax could use towards stopping future breaches. Do you really think, my God, that Equifax is okay with getting hacked? No, they know it and they want this sucker fixed and no extra lawsuit is going to help them fix the problem. In fact, the CFPB just yesterday released a request for information, an RFI, to see how they can fix their overall efficiency and effectiveness of its processes related to the enforcement of federal consumer financial law. And what this tells me is you, you have, have no, no excuses, excuses or concerns, concerns to, to stop you from getting off your ass and starting to sell. Oh. Did we just come to the same conclusion? We agree. But that, I guess we did. I was talking about you. I guess loan officers need to go out there and sell more. Have a great day. Leave us your comments down below. Please forward, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you later here at the National Real Estate Post. Tag people. Please. Bye. <laughs> that was kind of fun.